Big prop on. Full trigger. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I uh, got the Pro Boat Sonic Lake V2 on the block. On the block. Uh, this is the world's toughest freaking RC boat. Hands freaking down, you guys. Hands down. Uh, my last video with this boat, uh, we did a little speed run. I hit 71 miles an hour with this bad boy. 71. I hit an alligator or something in the water at 71 miles an hour and the boat still floats. Okay. It actually ripped my prop shaft, my prop, everything out the freaking stinger here. Uh, there's probably an alligator swimming around with a damn ABC prop stuck in his head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it bent my rudder, leading edge to leading edge of my rudder, rolled it back, and I lost the prop shaft, everything. So today we've actually got to straighten that out. We're going to rework the rudder, try to get it straightened out so we can use the boat. We're going to have to pull the motor so I can pull my flex cable out. Um, I got a prime location on my stinger. I don't want to move it. I could loosen the collet and pull it out that way, but uh, we're going to pull the motor instead. Seems like it might be a little bit easier. So uh, stick around. We've got a few little things to do to the boat. Big B with Anclad RC. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. We gotta assess the damages. All right. Uh, so first, first, I think I'm just gonna pull out the motor. This is the stock motor that comes in the boat. This 4068 1900kV Spectrum motor, and I'm running the 150 OSC. All right. Got a custom Y splitter in there, custom cooling, custom uh, ESC rack, the whole nine. All right. Now I could, I could just pull the stinger. Okay. Just loosen up these two bottom screws lift the stinger up boom i can pull the cable out you know just loosen up my collar there and the cable will pull right out the boat uh i, I don't want to move my stinger position i actually found a pretty decent stinger setting and uh once you find a good stinger setting for your boat you know especially if you're doing speed runs or even like ovals you find a good position try not to move it and if you do move it you know your start strut your stinger uh mark it mark it there's no real w way to mark this this stinger, you know, if we find a prime position. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this uh, Spectra motor out so we can pull the cable. Um, I've actually got the V the V1 cable here from my V1 Sonic Wake, and it should work in the boat. I'm almost 100% positive it's the same exact cable. I got a drive dog, everything we'll put on it. Uh, if you're watching the video and you're just interested in how to fix your rudder after you've hit something, you know, uh, you know, you might want to fast forward it through the, the cable pulling process. Okay, we'll get started on that next. So uh, I got all my screws loosened up here. Let's go ahead and try to pull this out. Nothing we can do about that. Nothing we can do about that. I'll loosen the collet up here and pull the cable out. All right, now I can reinstall my motor. Okay, boom, done. A custom ESC tray that I made out of aluminum. All right, I actually ran my, my motor ESC wires under the ESC tray right here with a piece of plastic you guys see that piece of plastic I have right here to kind of protect the bottom of the boat from the hot wires so what I want to do while I got this all loosened up here is a uh, I want to actually just put a little bit of this corrosion X on my connectors here because I've been running this boat in salt water I don't want much I just want a little bit on there and um, I'm actually going to put a piece of heat shrink over my connection right here so that they don't touch because they're hiding up under up under this ESC tray right here. And um, I can't see them, you know, I can't see them. So I'm actually going to go ahead and heat shrink them. And, I'm, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of silicone around my heat shrink to protect it from 
salt water so I don't get corrosion on my on my connectors that's a no-no that's a bad thing I'm not even spraying the corrosion X I'm just uh, letting it just a little bit trickle on there I just want a little bit on there clear waterproof silicone all right and uh, just put it put it on my my heat shrink all right so not much just a little bit just a little bit just enough to coat the inside all right I don't want to get that corrosion X on my wire sheaths because it, it actually makes your wire sheath really hard so I'm gonna wipe everything down with alcohol once I'm done so I got that silicone on there right on the connection point and we're just gonna shrink it shrink it down that should waterproof it all right you see that boom I'm gonna go through and do all of them all right I actually put silicone in in this heat shrink right here when I when I soldered on my connectors all right so that's done okay now i can put my wires back under the boat all right you can see you can see why i put this piece of plastic down you see where that wire right there is actually kind of scarred the plastic if i didn't have this piece of plastic down protecting the boat it would have scarred the, the bottom of my boat which is definitely not what we want so uh, I'm going to tuck my wires back under there, make sure they're on that plastic plate right there, and put everything back in where it goes. Alright, just wanted to kind of show you guys that. Maybe it'll help you out, maybe not, I don't know. Alright, so we got our ESC tray back on. Coolant's hooked up. Motor's back in. Coolant's hooked up to the motor. That looks good. So now, let's, uh, let's go and uh, get the rudder off. We'll take the rudder off the boat. All right, so I got the V1 cable on the bottom, the V2 cable. Okay, so they're exactly the same length here. All right, you guys see that? Got my Teflon washer on, my thrust washer, and some red Loctite here. We're going to get this tapered drive dog set back on the, on the cable. I like to use red. Some guys like to use blue. I don't mind putting a little heat onto it <laughs> to get my drive dog off. Last thing I like, I, I hate a drive dog coming loose while I'm at the freaking pond, man. There's nothing more aggravating than a loose drive dog. All right, I got it lined up on the flat spot there. Boom, boom, boom. Done, done, done. All right. Slide it back in. Make sure there's no freaking red Loctite on it. <laughs> I've done that before. I've Loctited my freaking shaft in my stinger before. Alright, that looks good. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and get this rudder off of here so we can start working that bad boy out. On my rudder right here, I, you guys see that little piece of plastic I have right there? Uh, basically use it as a shim to offset my rudder a little bit um, It's probably not needed, but uh, I, I'm running those big pitchy props and they were cutting it a little close to the rudder in its stock form So I, I just cut this little thin piece of plastic uh, It's actually really hard plastic that I have from uh, I got a big sheet of it and um, I just put it in between my rudder bracket and my rudder and uh, use it as a shim okay so let's get this guy here off and we'll take the rudder over to the workbench and see if we can't tap that bad boy back into shape all right so now we can really see the damage okay so it didn't actually break the aluminum it just bent it okay and it probably wouldn't have happened if i didn't sharpen up my leading edge all right it probably wouldn't have happened but i did sharpen it so we need to try to tap it back into shape with this rubber mallet here 
I use this material right here. This is an old cutting board. I use this one all the time for stuff. It's actually really tough. Uh, this is a big one that I cut up for uh, for to make different parts out of. So I'm actually going to use this for my little block to beat on. You can also use like a piece of wood, you know. Uh, I'm just going to use this cutting board here and try to get this beat back into shape without messing up the rudder. Alright, trying to roll that that bent edge over. About got it there. Got a little punch here. Try to a flat punch. All right, try to get it. Ooh, it did a number on it, man. Yeah, man, it did a freaking number on it. They're out of stock right now. You can't find this rudder nowhere. I couldn't. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so I'm going to use a little ball peen here. See if I can't tap it. So we're going to have to take some of the rudder down. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to go all the way across the leading edge. Blunt, just blunt it out. You know, take the whole rudder, the whole leading edge down. You know, maybe a few thousandths of an inch, I guess. You know, um, and then we can reprofile that leading edge. Okay, all right, like that. The whole leading edge because we don't really want to change the the blade profile we don't want to put like an angle you know from from nothing to something down here you know we want to keep the the profile square as possible um, so i'm just going to kind of blunt it out and then reshape it resharpen it all right you see what i'm saying See how I got most of that bad spot out just by those couple of little runs across it. And then we can re reprofile our edge. I know I repeated myself there. Sorry. I apologize, you guys, if I repeat myself in my videos. A lot of times, you know, it, it takes two or three different takes to, to make a video. You know, like this little, this part right here, I've actually taken it twice. You know, and when I go to edit my videos, sometimes I miss it. Sometimes I miss those uh, retakes, you know, and I don't delete it. So, I, you know, if I repeat myself, I'm, I apologize. I, I mean, I got a bad habit for it anyway. Um, I guess it's just my, in my nature. All right, so I'm just, I'm just reprofiling this thing, you know, sharpening up that edge I just took down. All right, uh, I noticed when you... When you do something like this, it's best, like I said earlier, it's best to like reprofile the whole freaking blade. But that's a lot of work, you know. So I'm just going to put that little edge back on it like I had before, you know, sharpen it up. And uh, that should be good, man. You want it to be hydrodynamic. You want it to be sharp. A little blunt edge is fine, you know. But um, I I'm tedious with this kind of stuff. I Personally, I think it. You know, when you rework a rudder or, um, you know, anything that's in the water while you're running, I think it should be sharp. I sharpen up all kinds of stuff off camera that I don't 
really go over with you guys. Um, I enjoy doing it for one, and when I get a decent speed out of my boat, it makes me feel like I've done something. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something, done something worth doing, you know. Boats that have hardware that has been damaged, the boat has been damaged, uh, those are the boats that make the fastest freaking boats, okay? The ones that you've actually had to go in and modify, make it your own, think about what you're doing, make it your own, you know, uh, thin the rudder blade out. Like, if I were to go through and thin this freaking rudder blade out, the, the thickness of this rudder blade... It would make it more hydrodynamic in the water and we would actually pick up some speed and i'm really freaking debating on doing that but but i'm not but uh i've noticed you know boats that have been around for a while you've had to modify you've had to change and rework stuff for the better um they actually make fast boats you know like the a brand new boat or a brand new build build um, they're not necessarily the fastest boats. Wait till, you know, work work the boat in. Work it in. Do modifications. Take stuff down. Try things out, you know. Shoot, I've got... I've got a whole box of hardware that I've tested and rudders that I've modified, struts that I've taken down and modified. You know, that strut right there, it looked completely different. And it, it was great. I just got to change the bushing out of it. Uh, you know, rudder blades that you've had to, to modify, well, that's not a good modification. But, um, you know, I've this rudder blade right here, I actually broke it. I, I welded a new blade onto it. And that blade right there was faster than the original blade. You know what I'm saying? Um... What I'm trying to say is, don't be afraid to modify your hardware, okay? But just know, if you modify your hardware, sometimes it don't work out the way you want it to. Sometimes it don't work out the way you want it, you know? Uh, so you just have to try it. You know, bite the bullet and, and, and just go for the gusto. Try it out. Try try something different on your boat, you know? And um, nine times out of ten... You know, you might be on the right track and get some better speed from your boat. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to quit jacking my jaws. The video is probably getting pretty long right now. But it actually looks a lot better than it did. You know, we can actually use this rudder blade now. And, and probably get some decent numbers with it, you know. All right, so I got it. Uh, I got it as close as I could. Okay, I got it pretty close here. I got it nice and straight. I've got a long tapered edge on it, not like a little short edge because I had to actually take the leading edge down. Remember, I filed it flat and then I took it down again. So I actually drawed out my leading edge pretty far, pretty far. One side looks better than the other, but I really don't care. All right, it's sharp. It's should be fairly hydrodynamic and uh i, I really don't know if i'm gonna f i was gonna fill that little nick right there with uh with jb weld but um i don't i don't even think it's worth my time to be honest with you i don't think it's worth my time <clears throat> i've actually taken this emery cloth like i said and i went over the whole the whole rudder the whole freaking thing you know uh, that emery cloth it, it'll shine it up it's pretty smooth um I may get my little buffer out on my Dremel and go over the whole rudder blade, but uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. That's fine with me. That should work. That should work. I got it all back together here. All right, got my breakaway tie strap in there, my uh, my plastic spacer, sharpened rudder. That thing sharp as shit too. Uh, drive shafts in. Done. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Video's long. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you guys out. Big B with Ironclad RC.